미래 미래가 불안한 대한민국 국민을 대표해 글로벌 창의 인재 양성소가 진행하는 300 프로젝트에서 대한민국 최고의 블록체인 전문가에게 묻겠습니다. 미래 미래 블록체인이라면 안녕한가요? 블록체인 전문가에게 공통 질문을 하고 그 답을 들어보는 신개념 지식소통쇼 지금 시작합니다. 안녕 And uh, we want to bring transparency and make sure that everyone knows exactly what's behind the scene and uh, they know that no one is trying to make money out of the order, uh, trying to uh, be the middleman bet- between two persons that are uh, transacting. There has been a lot of suspicion in the safety of current cryptocurrency exchanges. How does Legolas Exchange solve that problem? When it comes to safety, uh, there are both sides, cryptocurrency, fiat money. So for both sides, we need to find a proper solution to make sure that no one can enter our system and just withdraw all the coin and run with it. When it comes to fiat money, we partner with banks, we partner with uh, people who are regulated, so they have the license and they have all the insurance to make sure that the money from the customer uh, is safely stored. When it comes to the cryptocurrency, it's another story. We partner with the people who uh, develop solution, uh, hardware solution, and we make sure that we m- mimic actually all the process that we can see um, in the financial institution. So we are in contact with hedge fund, with family office, with VC. Uh, we know their process, and we just take the same processes to store and uh, actually uh, uh, secure the, uh, the cryptocurrency. And we use for that hardware wallets, we use for that offline wallets to make sure that they are securely stored. Is the implementation of blockchain big in France? Where can we see the implementation of blockchain? So we have, we have a huge community in France uh, just because we have a huge community of engineers for a very long time. Uh, so the blockchain technology and in general the cryptocurrency uh, community is really wide. Um, so today the implementation we can see at different level. There are a lot of people who are working on a really low level protocol. Uh, as an example, we have the team from Tezos uh, that I, I assume uh, a lot of people know in the industry. Uh, we have people uh, who are working on the wallet side. So as an example, Ledger is a French company. And we have a bunch of different companies, uh, foundations that are based in France. And uh, one of the reason is definitely that we have good engineering school, uh, a lot of people working in finance, a lot of people working uh, in mathematics, and uh, all this community uh, today are really active at uh, building companies. How would blockchain and cryptocurrency be commercialized? So behind the cryptocurrency and behind the blockchain, there is, uh, from my perspective, a very interesting uh, value proposition, which is solving the problem of centralized systems. When it comes to uh, the, the, the industry of information in general, uh, we have a lack of transparency today. We have a lack of security because some companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, so you know those companies, have tried to centralize everything to make sure that they own the data, to make sure that they are the only one to access to the system and try to protect as much as possible their data to make money out, out of it. So it's, it's a good business model for them, but the problem is that it comes with some, some issues like security, privacy, and trust in general. Uh, we see the, the regulation trying to solve this problem, uh, create rules, etc. but the reality is you cannot fight uh, against technology with regulation the way they try to do it. And because these companies are going so fast, it's just impossible to make sure that the security and the privacy um, will be solved. The only thing that we see today on the market is definitely the blockchain technology. So thanks to the blockchain technology, we have a solution for those issues. And what I see today is behind cryptocurrency and blockchain, we will just solve all this major problem um, in, the, in, in the networks, in, in the uh, industry of information using a new technology. For me, the description of this market and the and um, the, the value uh, proposition for all this market is definitely to solve these issues. 
which cryptocurrency should we pay attention to? So it's a very difficult question, and I will not advise anyone to, uh, to buy or sell any cryptocurrency, so uh, I'm an entrepreneur. Um, what I can say is that there are different types of cryptocurrency, uh, and I think it's important for everyone to understand exactly what's behind. We have some cryptocurrency that are protocol layers for the overall industry. As an example, Ethereum is a platform for developers. So um, we can imagine that this kind of cryptocurrency, because we will see more and more adoption for in general. Uh, this cryptocurrency will definitely appreciate in value over time, just because they are the basis of an overall ecosystem. I'm not sure that will be Ethereum. That can be another cryptocurrency, but you can think uh, this way. Uh, investing, buying some, some of this token is exactly the same thing of buying in the past. Uh, if you had the, the opportunity 20 years ago uh, to invest into HTTP. So this is uh, the rational. Now we have a new generation of token that represents some application, direct application for industries, for people, for B2C or B2B uh, application. And this is another thesis. So you are investing uh, at the end of the day into an application, into a team uh, that is trying to solve some problems or create some product that the end user will use. So I will not give any advice, but I would say that you have to, 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 um, to be careful, of course, uh, where you put your money and probably that spreading your risk onto different layers and into different kind of technology is probably where you want to, uh, to do investments. What kind of impact can implementing blockchain have on future education and future leaders? So I think it's fair to say that today on the market we have, uh, most of the uh, information, most of the data, um, most of the um, information transacted everywhere in the world is in the hand of very few companies. Uh, implementing blockchain is about just giving to the people, giving to the company back their data. Um, when it comes to the implementation of blockchain, the more we'll see um, new protocols adopted by companies, by individuals, the more we will decentralize actually uh, this power. And at the end of the day, the big shift we will probably see in the coming years is that those companies who built um, an amazing amount of value uh, with just owning the data of the overall world will be redistributed. So there is a huge opportunity for all the entrepreneurs, all the individuals to regain control on their data. Uh, and I think that that will just uh, level differently uh, the influence of companies and countries uh, from each other. What kind of impact can implementing blockchain have on future education and future leaders in France? So I think that when you are thinking about a country by itself, uh, there is a huge opportunity for uh, governments to just see new ecosystem growing in their country. So for me, having the opportunity uh, to see a new ecosystem growing around the blockchain technology is just having the opportunity to create a massive uh, amount of jobs, massive amount of value, where today, most of this value, most of, of these jobs are extremely concentrated in some countries and even in some area. When you take a look at what the Silicon Valley is about now in terms of power, in terms of money, there is definitely an opportunity to disrupt and to regain actually a part of this, uh, this employment and value creation everywhere else in the world. If blockchain garners more attention and trust, how would that impact businesses in general? So in general, I think that there is a huge dependence today for companies to uh, some of the big leaders uh, in the world of information. And I think that if the, the company um, adopts the protocol and the application about blockchain, they will regain control over their data and regain control over some of this value. So I think that today for a company, it's and for any company in the world, um, they should be interested into uh, understanding how they can leverage this kind of technology and they need to, uh, to take care of that as early as possible just to make sure they will be able to regain some of the value they are creating and that is just leaking in the end of uh, some, some big companies today. How can we prepare for a blockchain generation? So it's very easy if you want to be prepared for the, the next step. Uh, just play with those coins. I think that this is the best way to, uh, to practice, to understand what is the value, uh, what are the limitations. Uh, so buying some Bitcoin, playing with them, so exchanging those Bitcoin into other currency, trying to understand 
what those currency and what the blockchain behind those currency are about is definitely the best way to learn. And it's not that costly. You can buy a fraction of Bitcoin, you can buy a fraction of all this cryptocurrency. So for, for a very limited amount of money, uh, you have the ability to test by yourself the system. And I think it's very important because we see a lot of people talking about blockchain, talking about cryptocurrency, and they have never uh, bought or, or play with, with those cryptocurrency. So I think, uh, and by the way, it's fun. So I think it's very important for, for everyone to, to test. Is there anything you want to say to the Korean viewers at home? Yeah, of course, I want to say something to the Korean. Um, I've been an entrepreneur for 15 years. I've tried to expand my company all over the world, and I've done some expansion really successfully. Um, but generally speaking, it happens after years and years of, of work. Um, we have an opportunity today to build brands, global brands, from day one. And this is what we do today with Legolas. And I'm totally amazed to see uh, traction, to see adoption from the Koreans today, um, as we have never tried to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to market uh, the Legolas uh, exchange in a specific country. So it's amazing to see that we have adoption. We have, it's amazing to see that we can solve problems in countries like Korea. Uh, and I really appreciate the, the, the Korean uh, community around cryptocurrency and, and, um, and blockchain, because this is one of the most amazing we've, we've seen so far. So thank you very much for your support. Thank you.